the following announcement has been paid for by Perched on the Top Rope. Hi, this is Steve Kern, Fabulous One, Skinner, Doink, whatever you want to call me. I've been a lot of them. But I'm with Lee Walker III, and we're on Perched on the Top Rope. Come on, watch and listen. You know, on this coast, I'm, I'm a Gulf Coast fan. I'm not, I don't care anything about the other coast of the state of Florida. Matter of fact, when FCW, when they wanted me to move to Orlando, they came to me, Triple H, and said, hey, we want to move FCW to Orlando. And he says, are you willing to move? And I just looked at him and said, I guess I'm retired. And he says, why? I said, there's two cities in the state that I'm just not living in. Miami's one and Orlando's the other. It's a, they're tourist attractions, and I get it. A lot of people travel all over the world to come there. But living there, that ain't happening. First of all, it's too far from the water. I'm a water freak. I got to be in the water all the time. And Orlando's in the middle of the state. Second of all, if I was on that coast, the sun comes up on that coast, and I'm not up in the morning for the sun coming up. I'm in the evening. I love sunsets on the Gulf Coast. It's the most beautiful and peaceful things you ever saw. So I'm a big fan for this coast anyway. I don't blame you. Now, when Triple H uh, called you about that, was that around the time when they were going to start NXT, or was that well before? No, no. Um, well, I mean, you know, like I said, <laughs> I'm retired. I'm a loose cannon. I mean, you know, I've got no bosses except for my wife and God. I mean, you know, I'm a born again Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ and I always acknowledge him publicly. But here's the deal. I don't have a boss and I'm not trying to get anywhere. I'm not looking at visions of grandeur or hall of fames or any of those things because to me the wrestling business is a work i've been in a business that's a it's a work and i understand that but when he called me what he wanted to do was he wanted to transition everything and here's the deal triple h is a, is a really good guy and he, he's done a great job with what he's done and to me he was one of the best workers up there but he needed to get a feather in his cap and I could see the handwriting on the wall. When he saw what I had done with FCW and all the talent that I had produced, he goes, man, that needs to be mine. And he was ready to take it over. And there's no hard feelings because it, it's not my business. I just worked for them. So if they want to do something and he wants to take it over to impress his dad, that's cool. But at the same time, it's not going to be a manipulation thing with me and moving me. Now, Dusty moved to Orlando. Norman Smiley moved to Orlando. And pretty much everybody else moved to Orlando. But I worked for a year where I drove back and forth to Orlando three days a week. And I relinquished the main position. I was the owner, CEO, totally on all liability. And I was really glad to get out from underneath it. And when he approached, he said, well, I saw some NFL football training camps, and I think that our developmental ought to go to that level. And I said, I'm, I'm with you. I said, the only thing is, is the money has to change. I did it on a budget, and I did it at a reasonable cost. And I ran live events to give them their experience. When he talked about it, he was talking about taking it to another level, which meant quite a bit more money and quite a bit more pressure for getting the job done. And, you know, I was burnt out. So it was almost a meeting of the minds. So understand it wasn't a thing where somebody just come along when I was successful and just took it. And, oh, poor Steve, he's left out in the cold. That's not what happened. Come along, said he liked what it was doing complimented it, put me over. They gave me a nice plaque. I mean, you know, it's talking about how I developed the future for WWE and NXT. And we called it a day. 